Hey guys, welcome back. If you're here, you already know that this is a review on the new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And I'm going to apply it in front of you, give you my first impression, and take you throughout the next three days of me wearing this foundation so I can give you an actual review instead of just a first impression. Nothing wrong with first impression reviews, but I prefer to be able to actually give you an educated, experienced opinion than just what I'm thinking as I'm applying it, you know what I mean? But let me tell you a little bit about this foundation. It comes in 26 shades, that's a lot. Most of them are kind of in that like light to medium range though, and so uh, for those who are darker skin, you're not gonna have as much of a variety, you're not gonna have as many options for undertones. But if you're light to medium skin, you're used to makeup companies already catering to you, so it's not a huge deal to you. But I got the shade Warm Ivory, and it is kind of a yellowy tone. I need yellow foundations. If I wear neutral or pink, I tend to look super pink. The trendy thing now for foundations is foundation concealer hybrids. So not only does Hourglass have one now, but you could also get the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. You can get the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. Clinique has one. There are a lot of different options now. So it's kind of the thing. Full coverage foundation is getting more popular now that it's easier to wear a full coverage foundation without it looking really cakey. Formulas are being improved left and right with how competitive the makeup world is these days. And so it's easy to find a full coverage foundation that doesn't look nasty on your skin. So I'm going to apply this foundation in front of you, give you my first impression, and then I'm going to wear it for two more days after that. And at the end of those two days, I will give you my review at the end of the day, let you know what I did and stuff so let's let's just do it right now all right so I've already primed and moisturized and I also have concealer on the primer I used is the it cosmetics uh, anti-aging primer and the moisturizer I used is the Cora's pomegranate this is my favorite right now it's mattifying please do not mind the background right now in case you didn't know I am moving and so that's why it looks like this so let's go ahead and start applying this. I have no idea how much I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna go in. Feels nice, soft. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here. If I need more, I can always add more. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe E54 brush, and it's an enormous kabuki. And something already fell off. Okay, it's blending really nicely. It's giving really good coverage. Oh, I like it. I was worried that I was gonna not find one that was yellow enough. If I wear a neutral foundation or, yeah, anything that just doesn't have any yellow in it right now, I just look so pink. So I am always worried that the foundation is not gonna have enough yellow or it's gonna have too much yellow. Okay, so that's, uh, one coat and I actually, I like it. <laughs> that was really quick. This brush makes it so fast. I'm gonna go in with a, just a little bit more because I like more coverage in the center of my face since I'm an oily beast in the summertime. Okay, this little thing does not wanna get covered up. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Sometimes I find with cream or stick foundations, they're a little bit more difficult to blend. They like to be kind of patchy and you really have to work on it to get it to move around. And with this, that's not the case. It blended really nicely, just like a liquid foundation. I didn't have any issues. Uh, the color matches me pretty much perfectly. Um, again, I'm in the shade Warm Ivory. And so yeah, I like the way that this looks so far. Um, I'm going to apply all of my other makeup products on top of it and see how it looks, uh, see if Sometimes with cream foundations, if you put like powders and stuff on top of it, it likes to kind of move around. And so I'm gonna see if that is a problem with this foundation. Otherwise, I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. All right, so now I have the rest of my makeup on. And something that I have noticed is, first of all, I'm nice and matte still, so I like that. Um, and I've also noticed on this side, this nostril, the foundation has settled right there. So I'm going to powder it and see if that changes throughout the day. And just like with every other foundation review that I do, I'm going to go throughout the day and let you know at the end of the day how this foundation held up. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so yesterday I started filming this and I forgot that I was getting my hair done as soon as I was leaving work. So I didn't get to film a follow-up at the end of the day, but I did wear the foundation again today. So this is the second time I've worn it and I wanna give you a follow-up. So my initial impression was that the coverage was really nice. It wasn't full coverage initially when I first applied it, but then the second day that I applied it being today, I found that 
it is buildable. And so if one layer of foundation might not cover every imperfection you have, but it covers redness really well. And it's gonna cover for the most part, most blemishes. And if it doesn't cover them, just another layer over that specific blemish will cover it just fine. Um, as you can see today, it's the end of the day and so it's kind of wearing off. I still have that same blemish right here on my cheek, but it does a really great job of covering overall. I have oily combo skin and as you can see, I'm pretty shiny right now. My shiniest areas are right here, right here, and my forehead. I have yet to find a foundation where at the end of the day, I'm still matte. It's just not how it happens for me, especially in the summertime. In the summertime, I get pretty oily. It's currently 10 minutes till 6 p.m. and I've been wearing this foundation since 7 o'clock this morning and so I think that it still looks pretty good after 11 hours. So even though my oil came through, the foundation isn't breaking up. It still looks really nice and I think that if I blot it would look just like new. So far I'm liking this a lot. Although I do get oily at the end of the day, I can't complain. It's not the foundation's fault. That is my fault. So I do have to say that I have been enjoying applying it. I like using stick products because it's fun to draw on your face and it blends out really easily. It blends out like a liquid. So it's fun to apply. It's quick to apply. I've just been using my Morphe Kabuki brush every day and it blends really nicely. All in all, so far, I like the foundation a lot. It feels really weightless on the skin. Even though my oil has come through, I feel like I'm really not wearing that much makeup and I am. <laughs> all right, so I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. All right, everybody, so we are on the end of day three of me wearing this foundation, and I did a couple things differently to try to play with the foundation and try some different things maybe I would like more than what I've done for the last two days. Uh, first of all, I did use a different primer. The first day, I wore the IT Cosmetics Anti-Aging Primer. The second day, I wore the MAC Natural Radiance, and then today, I wore the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless Primer. I don't like it with this primer. I feel like it blends better with both of these. Actually, I think I even like this one the best, the IT Cosmetics, the very first one that I tried. I feel like the foundation just settled better into my skin. It didn't lift as much at the end of the day when I was wearing this one. Another thing that I did differently is I sweat my balls off because I went to the DMV and it's stuffy and disgusting in there and it was so hot because they had the doors open. So I was drenched in sweat and this foundation I feel like actually looks pretty good for me having sweat. Like I felt sweat on my face and the foundation did not lift from the sweat. It has lifted a bit from my natural oils, but the sweat didn't lift it at all. So I can definitely recommend this as a summer foundation. Also today I powdered halfway through the day with a translucent pressed powder. And even though it was a translucent powder, I felt like the foundation started to look a little cakey with the powder. And so if you're oily and you wanna try this foundation, then I would definitely recommend blotting instead of powdering because if you powder it's going to look like you have a ton of foundation built up on your skin and that is not cute. So final thoughts, hmm, I like it. I'm going to continue using it until it's gone. I don't know if I'll repurchase it though. Um, it's only been three days and so it's hard for me to develop a long-term opinion over three days. There are products that I've tried in the beginning that I've loved initially and then hated later on and will never buy again. And then I have the opposite, things that I didn't really care for in the beginning but I gave them another chance and then I ended up loving them. I don't wanna say that I love this because I don't, but I do like it a lot and I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it blends. I think that it feels nice and lightweight on the skin as well. But I have to say that I do like my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick foundation more. It feels a little bit heavier, but I just feel like it looks better throughout the day and it doesn't lift off of my skin. Like it stays settled in, even though I get greasy sometimes. <laughs> and this is a 12 hour foundation. And so it really does look really good for 12 hours. So if you're dry, I think you would love this. And if you're oily and you like to live your life on the edge, then try it. So that is it for this review. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. And if there's any other products you would like to see me review, of course, as always, leave that down in the comments below so I can see it and pick the product up and give it a try. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.